welcome to this Poundland haul. My name is Kate and I've got lots of different things to show you. Some homey items. I haven't got any food, so if you came here looking for food, I, I don't have any. But I do have some makeup, um, some nice socks and some housey bits and some really nice slippers. So lots of different things to show you. I'm also, I just thought I'd say this, I'm filming this a few weeks in advance. So I'm aware the situation might be changing. So just in case, I thought I'd let you know that, yeah, I'm filming this a couple of weeks in advance. So yeah, sending love to everyone and hope everything is okay. So before we get into the haul, um, make sure you subscribe and give the video a like if you enjoy Poundland videos. And I'm gonna show you my mug of the day before I get stuck into the Poundland bargains. Oh, it's hot, it's really hot, so I just made it. Um, it's a Starbucks coffee, one of those caramel lattes and they're so nice. So I'm going to drink this. After I've done the haul, I'm going to drink it because it'll probably be perfect temperature. And it's in one of my Kath Kidston mugs of the day. And I've got a few of these. I've got about three of these, I think, or two. I think Lee broke one over lockdown. Um, it was in the summer house all smashed. So it was very sad, but I did have a couple of others, so it's fine. And this is my mug of the day. Really cute. Kind of matches my dress. It's kind of autumnally with little flower pattern on this is from a charity shop and this is from primark just in case you were wondering i'm not going to drink that because it's really hot so i'm going to wait um till it cools down so the first thing i'm going to show you is uh this vanish product 250 milliliters and i've never bought this before because normally when our clothes have got little marks on our toby school uniform lee's mum takes care of it and it's amazing so i thought well I need something at home because you can't always rely on other people all the time, can you? Although she does get any stain out, it's amazing. My tablecloth from the greenhouse was covered and she's got every like mark out, all the tea stains and everything. She's she's very clever. Um, so I thought I'd get this and give it a go so I can try and remove them myself. Um, so let me know if that's good. I'm sure it is. You can get like a soap thing, can't you? I think my mum used to use that. Um, just says spray on stains, rub gently, let it work for five minutes, then wash as usual. So I thought I would try that. Um, I also got some greaseproof baking paper ugh, because this is really good. Like, you know, when you're doing some oven chips or I don't know, you're just whatever you do in the oven. Sometimes you use tin foil so you don't have to wash the um, the oven tray all the time. And um, this is great because things stick to it less. So this is really good if you're doing chips or anything like that. It's great to put a bit of baking paper. Yeah, it's called baking paper on and then things don't stick to it so that's my top tip like fish fingers and things are really you just want like a little you know just get a little bit of it on put the fish fingers on and it does really well and then you don't have to wash up as much because i hate washing up although i do it obviously um i'd rather not so that was a pound for some baking paper 10 meters of that i'll just put that there i got some nair wax strips because i really need to wax my moustache i haven't done this in so long and I've got like a bit of a build up here so I don't know if you can see but um I do need to do this so I thought right get some put it in front of me and I will sort my moustache out I'm actually to do Toby told me I had a beard the other day we were driving along well he wasn't we weren't driving I was I was driving along and he said mummy you've got a beard and I was like oh no so I might have to like start waxing my beard as well I'm sure it's we all have little bits of fluff don't we and hopefully it's just that I said, oh, is it light or dark? And he went, looks like Father Christmas. I was like, oh, <laughs> hopefully he was joking, but I don't know. Could be could be a beard lurking. Um, I am quite a hairy person. Right, what else have I got to show you? Some lovely socks. So my previous Poundland haul, which I will link in the description in case you missed it, I did buy some of these squidgy socks. I love them. And they don't, um, you know, what's the word? Cling to your legs because there's no, they're stretchy enough, but they don't like, make marks and I love that and I love a soft sock a soft sock these were two pounds I bought exactly the same ones in a previous haul so I just got another um another pair two pounds so a pound each they're so lovely so some grey ones and pink ones they're for me I also saw some men's ones I haven't seen these before unless um I missed them so these are men's cozy socks size 9 to 12 and you get two pairs they were two pounds as well so I'm going to give these to Lee, but I've got a feeling he probably won't wear them. Or he might actually might love them. If he doesn't, I'm going to be nabbing them because my feet are always freezing. I know we live in like an old house and it's quite cold, but my feet are the first things to go. And then it's my nose. My nose and my feet are always the coldest. 
So I always need some like nice warm socks. But these are cute actually. I'll open these to show you. It's got a nice pattern. It's cute, isn't it? I haven't seen men's ones, so that's great. Well done, pound band. So two pounds for those. I also bought Lee some touch screen gloves and these were two pounds, I think. Or whether, no, I think they were a pound actually. So they are two Motec, that's the make, touch screen gloves so he can do his work and still, or be outside and still be able to touch his phone. Actually, if he doesn't use them, I might, because it's quite handy if you're watching like football or something, you're outside and you want to keep your gloves on. So if he doesn't want them, they're going to be, they'll come home with me. So some gloves, I'll put them back in the box actually, so I can present them to him nicely. Oh, they look good. Hang on. So the couple of makeup items that I bought um, are these Nivea hot pink or Nivea crayons, lip crayons, and they were a pound each. And this one, it just said, yeah, hot pink crayon, long lasting moisture, intense colour lip balm, new with natural oils. I love, if you've watched my videos over the last couple of years, I love a, a lip crayon. Um, I've been using them for, for years. I've got one on today. That was from Poundland. It's a Revlon, Revlon, a Revlon one. And I've only got like one or two left, I think, because I, I kept giving them away. I had loads of them at one point. I was like, oh, I have them, like giving them to everyone. And um, I haven't got many left now. So I thought I'd get these. I'd stock up because I'm sure they're going to be just as good. Long lasting. Yeah, the, other, the others were long. Oh, my voice went funny there. The other ones were long lasting as well, the crayons. So maybe it's just something in a crayon that's long lasting. Two hot pink ones. I've got a pink one on today actually. So two hot pinks and I bought a coral crush because I do love a coral lip as well. So three of those and they were a pound each. I got some brushes, so some paint brushes. Brushes, these were a pound for three. They're not the best quality, but if I just need a quick paint brush to do a bodge job, I can just um, grab these. I was gonna, I was meant to paint pumpkins with them. But I didn't get around to doing it. I left the pumpkins orange. Um, so a pound for those, and this says dip it in. Sounds a bit naughty. And then I've got quite a lot here actually to show you. So this is a doormat. I think that was a pound. And if it was, it's amazing, amazing value. And it says, Merry Christmas. So obviously we're in November now. Well, I'm filming this a bit early, but we will be in November when this goes on. So I can probably get this out soon and put it, um, this will probably go in our utility room. And it's just brilliant. It's one of those non-slip ones. It was by the um, like fire logs and things and that place, that part of Poundland. And the one I go to is Great Yarmouth Gapton and you can just park really near it and it's the people are so lovely in there and really helpful and it's a non-slip one so it's got the sort of plastic on the back and that'll be really good for Christmas when you're trudging oh in and out I got some loo rolls as well these were two pounds I just saw them thought well I'll get some because they're always handy nine loo rolls for two pounds and these are the quilted ones and um, you can get some others but I think they're even smaller so they're quite good value I bought two of these i did look at the homeware range like the pep and co homeware range but there wasn't anything that i really loved so I, I didn't get anything but i got a couple of these bath mats i know it's not home decor but they look really nice quality you can see there just bright white bath mats with a little bobbled effect pep and co microfiber 50 times 80 anti-slip and they were three pounds which is such a good um such a good price so three pounds for each of those. I've got two, so they can go in our on suite, like me and Lee can have one each. Because the other ones, we've got some others, but they are, they're quite slippy. So I was looking for some non-slip ones or anti-slip and that's what they do. So three pounds for each of those. I got um, a birthday card for one of Toby's friends. I'll just put that in the card drawer, but I really like the look of it. Oh, actually, I could probably keep this for Toby because it's his birthday in December. And it's a really nice card. I'll probably do that, actually. He'll love that. He doesn't watch these Poundland hauls, so he won't even know. It just says, happy birthday, back of the net. You're a winner. It's a pop-out 3D card. Just like that. I like cards that look a bit different. And I got, what's this? Oh, I got a hair sheet mask. I forgot I bought that. So a flamingo, with flamingos on it, a hair sheet mask with marula oil to nourish and condition your hair. Easy pull. Oh, it's a cap. That 
that's good. That's really good. Suitable for vegans, 15 minute treatment. So when I next have a bath, I can put this cap on and nourish my hair. So you shampoo your hair first and then towel dry, take out the mask, use scissors to cut along the edge, put on your, put it on like you would a hat, ensuring all hair is covered and fastened with tab. Massage your scalp and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, I'll use that. I like the thought of that. I'll have like a, a pamper, a pamper day or a pamper evening and use this. And I do get asked a lot how, what I wash my hair with, but and I always reply saying anything, literally anything we've got. So it can be like any any type of shampoo that we've bought, like from Tesco or like the cheapest Tesco thing to stuff I've bought um, from Poundland. So it's just anything. So yeah, in case you were wondering, I just got put anything on my hair. I used to be quite particular when I was younger, but there's no point now. It all kind of does the same thing. Um, sometimes like the better the more expensive conditioner depending on what you get but I find sometimes they make my hair a bit sticky so I just I go for anything um I got a couple of these baking wooden utensil sets and they were a pound each oh I think that 3d card was a pound by the way and the hair mask was a pound as well because we need new wooden spoons because ours are getting really ratty ratty but you know a bit worn so a pound for three so I shall use those or well, two packets of those and then I'm going to finish on them because I, I think they, they might be my best buy some reuse re reuse re refuse sacks some bin bags that's what I'm trying to say bin bags 50 litres and they were a pound and they just say extra strong I hope so because I hate thin bin bags and they just rip fall apart don't they I bought Lee a tape measure because he's always looking for a tape measure so I thought I'd just grab him an extra one because they, they go missing with the socks and the hair clips um 7.5 meters measure up and that was a pound it's a nice heady heady heavy one it's a nice sturdy heavy one so that was a pound and then yeah my last couple of things these just looked lovely I thought they looked really expensive and Lee's got some like this and I was looking and thinking oh they look so snuggly so I thought I would get them I'd treat myself to some new slippers because obviously we're at home a hell of a lot more so it's nice to just have like home comforts isn't it so that's why I thought I would get them and they were five pounds no four pounds which is such a good price I think for this kind of slipper because they look like they'd be really expensive that's so good for four quid so Pep and Co um just says woman's woman's um medium so basically a size five to six and they just look really cosy. I think there's memory foam in there. Or I could be making it up. They just feel really um, quite squidgy. So really nice. And I like that it's suede. I don't think it is suede. It's more, I don't know, feels like, feels like suede, but I don't think it is. So five, no, four pounds for those. And then the last two things I'm going to show you are these LED candles. They're warm white candles. And they were two pounds each, which is a really good price because I've been buying a few of these over the last year from the range and home bargains and B&M and all oh, this upside down. So that is really good. I'm just checking it was two pounds. Yeah, because it's got the two at the back there and you get a set of three, which is brilliant. I don't think they contain. Oh, the batteries are included. That's really good. So a set of three. I'll open one of them so you can see the size. They were in the Christmas section. They had loads of lovely lights, but we've got enough lights. I just thought I'd get a couple of extra candles. I'm opening these badly. I'll show you the size of them. Just in case you want to see a bit more detail. Oh, these, this is the size of them. So a set of three, and that's what they look like. I like this colour because it's not too... I've got some of the candles and they're quite orangey, but they look like a good, a nice um, colour. Oh, that one doesn't work. It just worked, didn't it? Then it went off. I want to pull the thing out. That's not a good start. Let's try this one. What are you going to do? Pull this thing out here and then leave it. Oh, okay. That's annoying that that one doesn't work. Maybe it'll come back. Right, so that one's on. Let's pull this one out and have a look. That one doesn't work either. Oh, it does. Yay. So we've got two out of three. Two out of three are bad. So that one doesn't work. But it might. Give it a give it a bash. 
Ugh. Oh, oh well, that one doesn't work. But they're working, they look nice, they look quite realistic. Nice. Yay. Right, so that is everything um, in this Poundland haul. Let me know your favourite item in the description. No, let me know your favourite item in the comments. Um, I'll have a read through there. So let me know your favourite item. If I had to choose, I'm going to choose the rug, not the rug, the doormat. I love the slippers and I think the candles are great, but one doesn't work. And I think these are such good quality. These um, bath mats, they feel really, um, really expensive. I think they're lovely. So that's everything. Um, but thanks for watching. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe as well. And I will speak to you very soon. I do videos every Wednesday and Friday at two o'clock. I'm on Instagram as well if you want to come say hi on Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Homey Home. And that all the information will be linked in the description box if you want to come and say hi. I'll link all the videos that I've done recently. I've um, I've been doing some car boot sale hauls, charity shop hauls, as the home hauls. So I'll link all those in the description in case you want to watch them. But I'll stop waffling on now. Have a lovely weekend or have a lovely week because I'm filming this is going on on a Wednesday so have a lovely week and I will speak to you on Friday at two o'clock take care sending love to everyone stay safe and I'll speak to you soon bye hello again I know I just said goodbye but this candle is now working I tapped it on the bottom and then it um it's fine now so I just want to let you know that they're all working all three of them yay and here are the candles all together at the bottom of our stairs in our hall so I just thought I'd show you what they look like they're really bright actually and they all work yay here's Rufus again Rufus you want to come and say bye on the Poundland Hall? Come on. Here he is. Oh, it's Rufus. Thanks for watching. Speak to you soon. Bye.